Next we're going to view the patella tendon in its longitudinal view. I'm going to place the transducer just beneath the patient's patella, maintaining contact on the patient's knee. Here we see the fibers of the patella tendon attaching on the patella. Next we're going to follow these fibers distally as they attach on the tibial tubercle. And here we see the distal attachment on the tibial tubercle. Generally, I'll scan the patella tendon three times, once in the center and then once to each side to view the entire tendon. In this case, medially and next laterally. Next, we're going to view the patella tendon in cross-sectional view. I'm going to place the transducer beneath the patient's patella, just overlying the patella tendon. And here we're going to see a circular pattern of the patella tendon in cross-section looking for any abnormalities. I'm going to scan distally down to the tibial tubercle, slowly looking for irregularities. We'll begin to see the tendon slowly disappearing and into the tibial tubercle.